Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we saw the complete process of the lead life cycle. Today we will see, what is a solution in dynamic CRM? Today, we will see what a solution is, what the types of solutions are, and how you can create those in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Let's get started. As you know, first of all, we need to navigate to make.powerapps.com and select the sales hub. After clicking on the sales hub, the window will open like this. First, click on the settings icon in the top right corner, then select advanced settings. Now, go to the settings option. Here you will find an option, solutions. Click on that. As you can see here, there are lots of inbuilt solutions here, but for our work, we will create our own solution. To do that, click on the new button in the very left corner. Here it asks about some important details. Before creating a solution, we need to know what the solution is. Solutions are how customizers and developers author, package, and maintain units of software that extend Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. Any customizations, extensions, or configurations performed in CRM are packaged, managed, and distributed using solutions. Now it is asking for the display name, publisher, and version. So the publisher is a new thing for us. The question is, what is a publisher? A publisher is a real-world entity that publishes solutions in dynamic CRM. Those entities can be a person, department, or company. So before creating a solution, we will create a publisher. For that, click on Settings, then click on Customization, and then select Publishers. As you can see, there are lots of default publishers here for our publisher. Click on the new button and fill in all the required details, like name and prefix. So here, as you can see, we have created our publisher. Now get back to the solution. Click on the new button. Now fill in all the details. Display name. My first trial. The publisher is Synodic Customization. And the version for our solution is 1.0. 0.0. Now click on the Save button. As you can see, we have created our solution successfully. Currently, there is nothing inside our solution, and it is an unmanaged type of solution. So what is an unmanaged solutions? So there are three types of solutions. Unmanaged solutions, managed solutions, default solutions. First, we will know what the default solutions is. To create default solutions, click on settings, then customization. Select customize this system and then you will directly navigate to the default solutions. So, as you can see, it's our default solutions and it contains lots of data. So what is a default solutions? The default solutions is a special solution containing all system components. The default solutions are useful for discovering all of the components and configurations in your system. As you can see, there are lots of components inside the solution. We can have only one default solutions in our environment and lots of unmanaged or managed solutions. So, let's see the other type of solution. Navigate back to the solution menu. Here in package type, you can see there are two things. One is a manage and one is manage. So what is the managed solution? A managed solution is a completed solution that is intended to be distributed and installed. You cannot perform any customization in a managed solution and the second is an unmanaged solution. An unmanaged solution is still under development or isn't intended to be distributed. As a result, all customization and development will take place within the unmanaged solution and you will be able to add components within your solution. In our next video, we will see how to add components within the solution. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.